What's up guys? I got some TCGO here. Uh, I recorded it this morning. I, it's taken me a long time to find good games. I don't know why that is, but I have a, I have a really good win against Louie Lou. Well, it's not fantastic, but it's a hell of a lot better than the other ones I've been playing. Because um, they've usually just been <laughs> that we, we only end up getting like one Pokemon out and then no one else has anything on the bench and then whoever kills each other first just wins or loses in that case. Um, as you can see, he mulligans because he doesn't, I don't think he has anything in his hand because it's, it's showing it to me, so I think he mulligans. Um, there was one game, okay, you, <laughs> you don't even know. Um, I started out against a fire deck and I only had a hop it. I mulliganed twice and then I only got a hop it. He had a, uh, a, what was it, little pre evolution of Darmanitan. I forget what its name is, but uh, he also had a double colorless. So he took me out in the first turn. He won in one turn. I was like, that is bullshit. This is bullshit. I hate you. <laughs> but, um, I lead with Shaman because, you know, I can, I can become something else onto the bench. Uh, it's kind of stupid to have Shaman out right now, but it's my only basic Pokemon. So, I put Hoplip down, Hoplip, put Hoplip down, I'm thinking about which one I want to peek on. I don't know why I'm thinking about this so hard, I, I just took this match, like, not even like 10 minutes ago, I literally just finished recording it, dropped it in Vegas, because I know I gotta go do my thing. But, uh, I'm peek it takes him forever to be like, oh, okay, you're peek or it's taking forever to my deck to load, I don't know which is which, but, uh, I, what do I decide to do? I think I want to get my current going, but at the same time, I need more basic Pokemon on my bench to stall for time. So, you know what? I just put Virizia on. I might as well just start putting energy on that. And then once he takes out Shaman, then uh, then I'll be good to go from there. I can start coming in with Virizia on going from there. I see he's running a full dark deck. I've dealt with these maybe once or twice. And Sharp Sharpedo and, uh, what what is the evolution of Volibee? I completely forget. But the thing is nasty. Um, if you already have damage counters on you, one of its attack does 50 more damage, which is ridiculous. So here I get the perfect card. So I'm like, I got a shit hand. I don't really want to catch or anything out. So I put an energy down on uh, Verizion, and then I just go go ahead and uh, use Professor X's new theory, get a completely new hand, put some new ones down. And then we're good to go. Um, now, this this part of the game, well, not this part of the game, but later, I make some really stupid plays, and I don't see my jump luff in my deck, so I don't evolve my skip loom in time. And that's really stupid, because I definitely had the opportunity to, but I didn't until, like, really late game. I thought both of my bottom prizes were jump luffs. One of them was. I don't, know, I don't know what the fuck happened to the other one. Like, I wasn't paying attention to it. But I'll point it out right now, and that kind of explains a lot. So, he has both of the evolutions for his things. I decide to... Uh, show you guys what the hell's up in terms of, uh, you know, that thing. Uh, Sharpedo's attack, if he flips two coins and both of them are heads, I discard everything in my hand. So I'm glad I didn't get that. Uh, thinking about it, I probably should have evolved that skip loom, but I kind of wanted to see whether or not I had the jump luff. And I see the jump luff, I see one of them. Um, I, what, what was, okay, so I do evolve it. Do I just not do anything with it or what? Like, I don't even remember, like, near endgame, I was like, what the fuck happened to my jump luff? And then it turns out I get another one, I think. Or I just don't use this one until near the end. But, um, I'm kind of just leaving, you know, Shaman in to do his thing, take hits and stuff. Uh, he finally gets the, uh, the strip bear, whatever it is, you know, both coins. But thankfully, I only have one thing, you know, to discard, so. Get another Verizion, that's cool, I don't have any energy for it. Um, might as well just take him out with the Sacred Sword, you know, get his main thing with energy out of the way, and we're good to go. So I get a revive. Uh, means I can put Shaman on my bench, but in order for Shaman's ability to activate, which I did not know, I thought it was only when you put it on the bench. It turns out it has to be from your hand to the bench, which I did not know, which is why I revived it, and that's kind of done. But, he has that, uh, what is its name? Not, not Volibee. I think I zoomed in on it already, so I'm just kind of dumb. Anyway, I revived just the power up jump up as well. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I catch her out uh, Sableye to start doing damage to it. Plus, I don't want him using that pull-out thing. Um, so, yeah, that, that'll stall for, you know, a quick turn. So, I, I don't know. Like, he won't do damage to me this turn. Or, so, you know. What am I, what am I trying to say? Um, his attack, his Vola Beat thing, I think it's Vola... No, it's, it's not Vola Beat. Is it? I have no idea. Anyways, I'm Giga Draining and stuff just to recover health. And uh, he's going to go ahead and use that pull out to get, a, you know, any card he wants back from it, which is pretty damn useful for a, uh, a Pokemon attack. So, I actually think he just, I don't know, some guy named Lucius Lou just subscribed to me on YouTube. So it's like, 
Was that the guy I just played? I have no idea. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and Giga Drain kill off the Sableye, which means I'm still fresh on health and not at the mercy of his vulture things attacks. But he decides to send in Scraggy right now. I, as tempted as I am to kill it off in one hit, I don't want to do that. I need to keep myself fresh. So, uh, you know, just for the Volibee thing. Anyways, um, he goes for Team Rocket's Trickery. I really want to keep my Sunfloor on the off chance I get to clear some bench room. Uh, you know, just still keep it in my hand. And then maybe I can toss, like, Shaman into the fray or Hot Dip into the fray, you know, just to do some stuff. Anyways, pull MC's Chatter. Only get two cards. That's fine. Uh, at least I get an energy, so the turns are not a complete waste. I decide to put it on Jump Love so I can be good to go the instant that Verizion dies. And I'm just going to go ahead and deal 30 damage to the uh, Scraggy. Is it a Scraggy? I have trouble with Scrafty in this match. I have never played a Scrafty before today. He got the nastiest little fucking attack, and he gets real lucky with it too. But uh, he goes for uh, Professor O Elm's uh, evolution method thing. But if you're looking at that Spit Acid thing, it does 20 damage. And it burns me, but if he flips a coin and gets heads, then he also gets paralysis. So burn and paralyze, meaning that I really won't be doing shit. And he'll he could have the potential to get a lot of passive damage, but uh, he's gonna get 20. You know, get the burn. I get paralyzed, and then I think I take burn damage on both turns, which is like okay, that's a load of shit. But now that I'm just getting more energy, I'm just slapping it on the other Verzi, and I know this one's pretty much already dead. So I'm I mean I you know get my para healed, but I've got a lot of damage on my on me already so if I end up dying that could be trouble but I still have jump Love, who should be able to take him out from I think I think Scrafty has 90 HP so if I put that another hop it it'll be you know dead bench space but it'll help with you know jump Love to get a sure kill because I don't want to fucking do that anyways he brings in that uh, vulture thing he knows that his attack will uh, kill me off I suppose or he went for a different attack I don't even know um, thing is, is now I can just bring in Jump Bluff and I think just take him out with a mass attack. But, uh, I decide to, I was really tempted to put down Hobbit right now, and I was like, wait, I can just Pecom Hobbit out? And then get my Sunkern going, you know, get one of the flowers going. Um, I do have both, both flowers, so having that Hobbit on the bench is a little bit of waste, especially since I didn't see my second Jump Bluff at this point. And I think that's what I was referring to earlier, and that I was kind of waiting for it. But I have just barely enough, you know, things on the bench to take him out. Uh, does 90 damage. I'm up on prizes for now, which is really cool, but, you know, he, he keeps his tempo going pretty nicely. Uh, gonna go for dual ball, actually get both. I'm like, you're getting real lucky with the coin flips, buddy. That is, that is something else. So, um, dual balls, get stuff. He takes a while to pick, even though it's just basic Pokemon. I, I didn't even, like, I literally just dropped into Vegas and then just used control to just speed it up. That's it. I didn't look and, like, clip out gaps or anything like that. I'm just making it go as quick as it can. So, well, not as quick as it can, but you guys get the feel. So, he's going to go for that acid thing, and he gets another para, and I'm like, okay, great, now I can't even switch out. I don't take burn damage, though, which is cool. So, just get my second flower going on, going to put an energy on that hop it, because I'm thinking I can evolve it, but the thing is, I can't. And I make a really, I think this is where I make the really, really stupid play. I decide, no, no skip loom. I want Bayleaf, even though I already evolved my Chikorita. I wasn't even looking, and I can't even undo it at this point, because... I, I don't know, it's just fucking stupid. So, had I gotten Meganium, I could have taken some energy off of that, you know, hop it on my bench, and then... Actually, there's not really much I could have done with it. I'm just really glad that I... I don't think I ended up dying at the end of this next turn. So, uh, kind of just waiting on him, you know, doing his thing. And I'm thinking I'm thinking I might put background music to this. If you guys hear background music, then don't be surprised. But, uh, you know, the TCG for the Game Boy Color deserves some love. So, I figured that'd be a decent idea. Anyways, um, still waiting on him. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Like, he's only got five cards in his hand. They, I don't think that really requires that much deliberation in a situation like this. Uh, you can put another energy down, but you won't be able to attack me. Um, he could retreat and go to Sharpedo and try to do some damage, but I don't think he has enough energy on it yet. Uh, he decides to put a Scraggy down after God knows how long, probably like 30 seconds. You can see he's taking a lot more time than me too, which is like ridiculous. I think I end up clicking his little win, uh, his profile thing, you know, just to see how much he's, how experienced he is. So he's going to do 20 more to me because Spit Acid, thank God I don't get paralyzed, but I do take burn damage. So I have 10 HP left. I am actually just now going to use Sunflora to go ahead and get... Uh, the Meganium, and then once I evolve Meganium, I can take that energy off of Hoppit because I don't see my Jump Luff. It is one of my prizes. 
but I'm gonna use it to take the energy off of Hoppip and put it on Virizion, meaning I am good to kick ass the instant I come in. So, mass attack him for 90, that is exactly the amount of health that uh, it's Grafty has. I get a Pecom, not really gonna be useful for anything because, I, as I mentioned, my jump bluff is the bottom left. It, it, there's a re like a recurring theme lately that all of my cards that I need are the bottom left prices, so I might start drawing them there now. Um, bottom right one is a rare candy, which I actually got from... Oh, who did I get that from? I think I got it from somebody named Pika Slash. I also got a couple booster codes and, you know, just cards in general. Uh, I want to thank those people. I'm pretty sure I'm going to forget somebody between uh, Friday and Monday. Because I did have a decent amount of people trade with me. So, if you did... I'm grateful to all of you, but I have... A God forbid, you know, I remember every single name, so I'm sorry in advance, you know, I'm wanting to express my gratitude, but I'm just horrible with names. So if you do remember giving me something, and you remember exactly what it was, and I don't put it in the description, you know, you can just heckle me for it right now. But, um, that's kind of just me stalling for time while he's doing stuff. He's gonna peacom something out, uh, peacom out his Vala B, and then get his, um... Probably, I don't, I'm thinking he's gonna get a Sharpedo going, or a Scrafty. I think it might be a Scrafty, because he knows how fucking annoying I'm finding that thing lately. Um, I'm not too worried at this point, I'm just pretty much just gonna let Shaman die, or if he doesn't kill it off by some free chance, I'll just retreat it and go to Verizion, if I can pull an energy next turn. Um, I don't think there's enough energy floating around, but he has 76 wins, so he's not, you know, nub, but... Put down a Sun Current to power up Jump Bluff on the off chance I'll get it in the next couple turns. And, uh, you know, hopefully get my... I think what I wanted to do at this point is get my second Sun Flora going with my first Sun Flora. So I just decided at this point I'm just going to put down energy on Meganium because I know I'm not getting Jump Bluff. Uh, problem is, is I can't evolve it until next turn. So the thing is, is maybe I should have waited because if he gets that... Um, the, the fucking thing that discards all the cards in my hand, then, you know, I'm out one sun floor, and that kind of sucks. So, in hindsight, I should have waited on that, but uh, I decided to get a skip loom. I think I can evolve that right now, so that's what I do. Um, I got a 50-50 odds. Um, if, if I pull the jump bluff on the next turn, great, I have a jump bluff. If not, you know, I just gotta kill one more thing, and I win the game anyway without a second jump bluff, so. Someone did give me a second jump bluff, and that has been working wonders for me, especially when I'm able to rare candy that or meganium. Um, I don't have, I think, everything in this deck, uh, barring Virizion and, actually, Virizion and Shaman are basics. And then, uh, Sun Kern and Sun Floor kind of rely on each other, you know, to get their thing going. So, if I can rare candy up a Meganium or Jump Pluff, that'll be cool, but I think, I don't know, I don't feel like I really don't need that many rare candies, they're kind of just dead space. I think what I need more is I need, like, more, I need more accessibility with my energy. But he does do that thing where he discards all the cards in my hand. I'm like, son of a bitch, I should have waited. But I'm just going to go ahead and use my Poke Power at this point. I got a couple of energy, you know, to go around. He hasn't killed me for whatever reason. So I decide to, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like, derp, derp, derp. I want to use that thing's Poke Power. And then I realize I already have enough energy on it. So I'm just like, you go on Skip Loom right now. Whatever. So I don't want to look like a complete dumbass. But I send in Verizion. I have to go for the Sacred Sword. I might as well just do that, take him out. And I'm up a couple prizes. Uh, nothing looks like it really has too much energy. I do get my second jump up now, which is fucking nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, he sends in a Thai Rogue right now. I don't know why he sends it in when he has three other things I could definitely take hits. I mean, the attack that I can go for next turn will take him out, and I don't think he realizes that, which is why he switched it in, because Giga Drain does the amount of damage that he has HP, so if I'm not mistaken, he kind of just, you know, decides to get the fuck out of here, go into, uh, Scraggy, and, you know, hit me with that the spit acid or whatever it is. That thing's a pain in the ass. I like his deck though. It doesn't really have, you know, a uh, too much, you know, synergy in terms of like poker powers and stuff revolving around each other. But I do, I do like the dark types that he has going on here. So there's another spit acid thing going on. Uh, if he paralyzes me, that will be a pain in the ass. I'm hoping he doesn't. Because if he doesn't, I'll just retreat, evolve jump Pluff, and you know, just win the game. And if he takes me out, then you know, it'll take a little bit longer. But I don't get paralyzed and I don't get burned. And I'm like. That is awesome. Um, funny thing about Seeker, I have a uh, match that is like literally like four minutes long. I'm going to speed it up a little bit and probably put it at the end. But uh, I take my last prize there and, you know, I end up winning the game. So if you guys enjoyed this, you're welcome to leave a like rating, uh, comment, subscribe, do your thing. 
Uh, I will probably have uploaded an LP episode before this. This will come after that, you know, as I render and go do that. And then battle video later today. And uh, I will leave you guys with a amusing uh, Golduck thing that happened a little bit previously to this match. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Everybody loves bonus footage, right? <laughs> Anyways, what's up, guys? I have a hilariously short match in which I completely just nip everything he's going for in the bud. I crush all of his hopes, all of his dreams, in basically just, like, this really short time. I think I only had, end up taking one prize. Um, thing is, I'm mulligan, though, so it's no big deal to me, really. Uh, I decided to lead out with Chikorita just because it has more health. That's the instinct I want to go on, and it's actually not that laggy in this game for some reason. I think this might this might have been one of the first ones I took this morning, but I picked Tails. I think he ends up I end up going first, so that's cool. That Seeker is going to come into so much play. You have no idea. I decide right now I'm going to put energy on Chikorita and you know start getting uh, some attacks off. Uh, the thing is, he's going to start setting up in the background too. Um, I'm kind of just like, you know what, if he's gonna do whatever he wants to do with Psyduck, then... I, I resist water, so I do have the advantage, but, uh, that's not to say that he didn't try to get a good setup going on me, so I go for the hammer in, does 20, you know, that's cool. Uh, he puts a Squirtle down on the bench, I think he's gonna try to evolve his, uh, Psyduck right now, and then that, that Squirtle is a, gonna be a War Turtle in the background, but he uses Professor Elm, and go ahead and get his Golduck. Golduck is a really interesting card, it makes for a really good, uh, water deck and that when you put a energy a water energy you take two damage counters off of it and uh his power gets beefed up by how many energies are in play or on him it's one of the two um i think it might be in play which makes it fucking great so i get enough energy on bay leaf to go ahead and go for the uh the razor leaf now i'm curious as to whether or not i will end up you know actually coming out of this exchange nicely but i think he decides to retreat and you know start setting it up and let his other thing take it or he switches you know preserve his energy that works too because this part is so funny so stacks another energy on it and the thing is is i get i think i get a catcher somewhere along the way so that's probably going to spoil what ends up happening here but i don't care i'm just kind of stalling at this point gonna go for the razor leaf does 50 damage, so everything of his is, you know, gonna end up getting taken out, and I got a phone call from somebody that I have no idea who it is, but he just evolves it, you know, to try to get some, uh, some stuff going, and then I think he's gonna switch next turn, no, yeah, he, sw he switches now, gonna try to do damage maybe, but thanks to my resistance, I live with, like, 10 HP, this is the funny part, okay, I'm gonna go for catcher, and then I'm gonna go for seeker, which puts one Pokemon from your bench into your hand, and I just take him out right here, and he's probably so upset that I got both of those, but I I was dying of laughter that I got away with that, and uh, I don't know, I don't know, that's that's the end of that video. I, I, I thought it was pretty funny, so uh, that'll really do it for today, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you later.